Hey guys, how you doing? This is Will Moore, your host with Somewhere in America. And on today's episode, I am doing something with some vintage cameras. Stay tuned. So hey guys, as I said before, I'm doing something with vintage cameras, okay? These are Kodak cameras. And these cameras were on, they're on loan to me from a friend of mine who I work with. And he said, my dad had these old cameras hanging around. Will, I want you to take a look at him. So when he brings them in, I didn't know what he was bringing in. I thought he was gonna bring in some old raggedy cameras. But he brought in some of the coolest cameras, man. These are Kodak cameras. And these cameras range anywhere from 1941 all the way to like the 19, 1952, okay? I have like a brownie that is a, a brownie uh, Target 616, okay? And that camera ran around, that, the first brownie was introduced in 1900. And you guys know that I'm a history buff, y'all remember that, I told y'all. And I love, photogra I love histor photography history. Anything that has something to do with the history of photography, I love talking about it. I love dealing with it, okay? Some people, they like techie stuff. Me, I like photography history, all right? So, um, also, I have another camera, which is the Brownie Reflex, the Synchro model, um, the Synchro model. And that camera right there, uh, it was ran around, let me see, mm, probably around between 1941 to 1952. All right, so that's, I'm trying to remember my dates, okay? And uh, like I said, the Brownie, that ran from 1940, I think, 19, uh, let me see if I can remember, 1940, ooh, God, this is my memory, 1946 to 1951. Yes, there we go, all right? And of course, this one right here, this ran from the 40s also to the 50s as well. And this is the center one. I really, really like this particular camera. You guys are gonna get a chance to see. You can't see it right now, but let me. You know what? Let me let me let me bend down, and then you can go ahead and see it. This particular one right here. I really like the way it looked. I like the style of it. I thought it was pretty pretty cool, and it's pretty interesting. So, um, and this is called the Kodak Tourist, and that's what I like about that camera. That camera was like big. It's really really pretty cool, and real nice right there. So, without further ado. I am going to do, what I'm going to do with these cameras, I'm going to do something which is called light painting. Now you guys know what light painting is, you've seen it before, it's all over YouTube. I have done a lot of light painting. Light painting can be done with anything, it can be done with food photography, it is done with jewelry, watches, um, a lot of commercial shooting uses, um, utilizes um, uh, light painting. All you need for light painting, real simple, real easy, down and dirty is you need a tripod, you need a camera, I <laughs> gotta have a camera. I use a cable release, okay, because I, what I wanna do, and I set my camera on 30 seconds at F22. I'm also gonna be utilizing a mag light, okay, and I'm gonna be utilizing some strobe, little, little pin strobes right here. Now, there's a lot of tutorials on light painting, like I said before. You can paint with it, you can go ahead and write your name in the sky with it, you can do it outside. If you look at some of the images right there I'm just showing you, I, I did a light painting on a building when I was in um, the Grand Canyon. It came out beautiful, my buddy didn't even know what it was, anyway. But so anyway, you could do light painting with any and everything and you just have a ball and have fun with it. You can do light painting on models, do light painting on your wife, do light painting on your girlfriend, do light painting on your dog if you're stand still. Well, you can do light painting on anything, and I'm telling you, it's some great effects. It's very dynamic. It looks real cool. So I'm going to do some light painting on these cameras right here, and I'm going to get started like right now. So let me go ahead and set it up, and I'll be with y'all guys in just a hot second. Okay, guys, so I have all my items here. I'm going to do my little, this is like, this is like Kodak coming back, okay? You all know that Kodak did go belly up and that they did go ahead and, um, and um, file bankruptcy and, and so they pretty much uh, they got a few things still around some of the film and everything you can still pick up but this is it right here all right I'm telling you man the Kodak company was fantastic it was great you know anything about uh, uh, the, the founder of Kodak he had a great entrepreneurial spirit here in America but he also had a very tragic end because 
but he really couldn't move and utilize and, and use legs and everything and came down with he had some serious illness and so he ended up he wrote a letter letter at the end and he ended up killing himself which was very tragic and very sad but anyway he left a real legacy with these cameras because these were the cameras that were for the everyday shooter if a person couldn't afford the big expensive camera they could buy a brownie or they could buy the the, uh, the brownie reflex or they could probably even get this one if they could afford it so I'm telling you these were the cameras to these were the go-to I love these cameras especially the brownie this right here this particular camera it would come with the film in it and it would shoot about maybe a hundred a hundred pictures and you would leave the film in it and you would send it back to the Kodak company they would go ahead process the film and send and process the film send you back your pictures and there would be a new roll of film in the camera ready for you to go ahead and take pictures again so without further ado I'm not gonna play around anymore guys that's enough history lesson I know I don't want to bore you with that I'm gonna go ahead and get to some light painting so I got my light man over there and he's ready to go ahead and hit my lights and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this I'm gonna light before I tell him to hit the lights I'm gonna um, when after he hits the lights and it goes dark I've already focused so you always want to focus before you actually get started okay so I got a lot of darkness in here so a lot of times I'm using my Sigma 19 millimeter one thing I, I like the Sigma 19 millimeter but the problem that I have sometimes is that it tends to uh, tends to hunt especially when it's dark and when you go up when you go up to like 15 20 30 seconds it's going to hunt because it's looking for trying to feel all that light and it's trying to look for a lot of light when I'm down to like 150 uh, 150 the uh, uh, 1 25th of a second or something like that doesn't hunt goes ahead and focuses that's the reason why I love Sigma lenses works out great using my Sony a6000 that's right I'm still using my workhorse now because it's dark I went ahead and I utilized my uh, one of my uh, big uh, studio strobe lights to go ahead and focus on this so that I can go ahead and focus because you always want your image to be sharp when you're doing light painting you don't want a blurry image you want it to be really really sharp okay so let's without further ado let me go ahead and let's do some light painting light man hit the lights and I'm gonna go ahead and hit my shutter release and it's going I'm gonna go behind back and hit the lights again lights on all right and that's going to go ahead and process and when it processes that's the reason why that shutter is held open so long because what you're doing is that the shutter is allowing all that light to come in and open it up and, and if you guys know anything about photography 101 this right here is this is basic this this will, this will tell you just how a camera works right here and incidentally for another history lesson <laughs> The word photography actually means painting with light. Okay, so that that is going ahead and processed, and and um, I'm loving what I'm seeing. It looks really great. You guys can see it on the screen right there. It came out really, really nice. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use some other colors, and I'm gonna do a little bit. I'm gonna do one more shot, and then I'm gonna use a couple of other items to do some light painting. All right, so let's go ahead and do it again, light man. Go ahead and hit my lights again. All right. So I'm gonna change out, I'm gonna do a different item. I'll probably do some food. So I'm gonna change out, I'm gonna pause. So let me go ahead and let's set that up and I'll talk with y'all in a hot second. Hold on. Okay guys, so as you know what, I've switched out from the cameras to now I got a setting of food, all right? So now I'm gonna do some light painting because I got odd numbers. Yeah, I got one, two, 
three, four, five, or six. Well, not odd numbers, but I, but I set, but I set my, my, uh, my still life up in a very, very odd, odd way. Okay, in odd numbers way. So we're gonna go ahead and do some light painting on this real quick. So let's go ahead and get started. Lights. process and we'll see what we got in a second. Okay guys, so I like how the light struck brighter bright behind it. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring my white light just in the front so it can absorb from all, all so the blackness can absorb all that light back there so no shadows. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'll go ahead and paint with some, some colors around here. So let's go ahead and try it again. Alright, here we go. Lights. right here. Okay guys, so guess what? All of my fruit came out really, really nice here. It had a nice light on the front. I like it, it had a nice little moody look. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch this out and I'm gonna do one more food photography just for you guys with light painting. So hang tight. All right guys, this is my last setup right here. I hope that I have a lot of sushi lovers out there because that's exactly what I'm utilizing on this tray is sushi. But I'm also utilizing, um, just utilizing the old ring that I put in here. And this is also something that you can do if you're like doing particular ring shots. And generally we'll, I will use a macro lens for this, but I'm gonna just be utilizing, uh, again, my 19 millimeter and I'm just doing light painting. But this is like a commercial shoot. So I might, but the commercial, the shoot is, is the ring, but the ring is with the sushi. So food, ring, wine, whatever, whatever it took to get her, guys, that's what you're gonna have to do to keep her. So <laughs> let's, let's go ahead and do some light painting and this is gonna be the last one. All right, let's get started. Light man, lights. and process that and see what it looks like. Okay guys, I didn't like that. It was a little too much light on it, so what I did is that I took it down to about 15 seconds and I'm gonna shoot it just one more time right here. I don't wanna have a whole lot of light on it, so I'm gonna just do just a little bit of light just around it, just a little splatters, and then I'm gonna add the colors to it real quick. So go ahead, light man. Check it out, guys. All right, guys, hey, I hope you enjoyed this segment of Somewhere in America with light painting. I hope you enjoyed the images. Hey, that's all I got for you, remember? So let's, hey, let's recap what I've already done, okay? First thing I did is that I took some vintage cameras 
and I lit them up and I used some of the um, some of these little color strobes and also my mag light right here then I, what I did is that I changed it up and I did some food photography and I used some fruit <coughs> excuse, excuse me and I went ahead and did that right there kind of like a little khaki there <laughs> And I did that right there. Then I changed it up and went ahead and I did, and I added another element where I did some sushi and I added a nice ring to it to give it a little nice little sparkle and diamond. And that came out really, really nice right there. I like what I had, I like what I saw, and um, it looks great. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed it, enjoyed the segment. Go out, do some, a little go in or whatever, do some, some, some light painting and, and, and see what you come up with. Be creative with it. Relax. Hey, explore, 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 and learn. That's the main thing you can do. Other than that, guys, hey, that's all I have for today. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed this segment. Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. You'll see all the information at the end. Also, the link of all those cameras right there and all of the Kodak cameras, I'll put that down in the description so you can go ahead and just check out all of the cameras that Kodak had ever made. Other than that, God bless, love you. Remember, as I always say, if you can't say anything nice, do what? Stick a shoe in your mouth and do what? Keep it moving. God bless. Talk with y'all later.